Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. We have some big, big, big news. Well, I mean, big, kind of big, eh, I guess you could say. But it's just an update on some information. So leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and get on some more Sparking Zero content because this is actually about Sparking Zero. We have producer Ryo Mito, Ryo Mito, who worked on Dragon Ball Z Sparking series and the producer of Masayuki Hirano, general producer of Dragon Ball Games, will hold a stage at Battle Hour event to share some stories when working on Dragon Ball Games. This is good, guys. This is big because a lot of us, we, again, we didn't really see what the panels were. Um, and we were, everybody kind of figured it was going to be Sparky Zero, but we were kind of kind of like speculating like if there was going to be another trailer shown. Now here, they're not specifically or specifically you know, explicitly saying there's going to be a trailer, but big brain is going to be a trailer. And if anything, that trailer is going to have two or three, two out of three things. It's going to have a release release date, a pre-order and or a beta test or beta release. Now, people are kind of like if you're on a beta test, I don't think some people think don't think they'll do it at all. Some people do think I think that this one will have a beta test, especially if they want the hype to be there. You give us a beta test, we'll hold that beta to our hearts until the game drops. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, my thing is with this, I think that, again, two out of the three things are going to happen. Either it's going to be happen this way, it's going to happen a pre-order for a release date at the same time. Or, you're going to get just the beta test and a release date. Maybe, or maybe a pre-order but not a release date. Because I think you can, like, set it up to pre-order but... They don't like maybe maybe not say when it releases. I don't know because they already did that. There's pre-orders for third parties or whatever. So I don't know. I'm just trying to try to mix it up to see what ways they could release. I don't think all three or possibly all three could happen. I don't know. Beta test, pre-order, and release date. I don't know because if you get a pre-order, you gotta get a release date. So this is again, this is really huge because again, if you guys don't know these two two people, they have worked a lot heavily on not just Sparking Zero. This isn't just about Sparking Zero. They've worked on heavily on Dragon Ball games, I believe. Ryo, I believe he, um, he, yeah, again, see right here, it says Budokai Tenkaichi series producer. I think they I think he's worked on some previous projects. Also, with both of them, I think they've done like Dragon Ball Fighters and stuff like that. So, if that's the true, if that's the case, then man, guys, we have we're in for some great information because here it says we're giving players fans to ask questions, to talk to the producers. Enter the st on on live event. So we're I'm gonna be streaming this if it can be streamed. You know, Battle Hour last time it was streamed. I'm gonna be streaming this. Uh, so make sure you guys follow my tw me on Twitch. Link in the description below. All that good stuff. But yeah, guys, this is gonna be really exciting to really experience. Like again, the way it should have been brought out because it was just dropped on us at the last Battle Hour and it was just like what. So now we are a year. Almost well, it'll be a year in March, but almost a year. Full full circle. And Sparking Zero could be in our hands this year. Literally. if we, I'm predicting that we're getting a release date. Release date co coming for me. All right. I'm, I'm not no leaker. I don't have no source. I don't have nobody. Pure speculation. All right. Release date is coming at Battle Hour. 2 p.m. I believe this is Pacific Standard Time. So 5 p.m. East. Uh, I don't know what the other times are. Um... Moving on a little bit, just, just so I could cover this, Daima will be showcased here. If you like Dragon Ball, I think we should give Daima a chance. Our executive producer, Akio Ayoku, will make a guest appearance at the Dragon Ball. See, he was the person we were talking about in my last video, where he was like, this is the guy. This is the guy that's heading everything now. He's like, he's the one pushing the content. We have Sparking Zero, Daima, in, in, the, in, in his first, basically his first year, we have Sparking Zero and Daima already, right? And they're already bringing new updates for like stuff like Xenoverse 2, which getting into, I don't see Xenoverse 2 on here, but, but, 90% 90, 90 sure we're going to get something on Xenoverse 2, guys. I think they're going to be saving that. I think that might be their big thing. I know Sparking Zero is big, but I think Xenoverse 2 PS5 port is going to change a lot of people's minds on Xenoverse 2. I really do. I have hope for it. So we'll see. So, like, that's literally, like, all I wanted to say on Xenoverse 2 because they don't really have any information. But, like, that's my prediction. I really feel like Xenoverse 2 PS5 port is going to, they're going to showcase a little bit of it. Maybe just showcase what we might see, you know? Um, but, yeah, with all that being said and all that good stuff, I hope you 
guys that enjoyed this recording and all that good stuff i um left my viewership up there on twitch so again so if again follow me on twitch let me know if, if in the comments if what you guys want to see in the panel what questions do you have if you're going and you're in los angeles go ask some questions bro ask about anything you could possibly answer local multiplayer or uh, all that good stuff ask ask all the questions that you can but yeah this is just my quick little video you don't want to make it too long just some information um probably won't be covering too much on sparking zero anymore until battle hour guys i probably won't be covering much on dragon ball like as far as like newer stuff until like just covering information but not so much y'all it's really time to get into the newer age of content and stuff for anime and dragon ball and so i battle hour i feel like is the pivot point so we're gonna see what they have for us for us in the new year leave a like and subscribe if you're new we'll get on some more dragon ball games content peace